Hey guys, today we are unboxing a very special advent calendar. It is so special because it has traveled the world. I'm not even joking. This calendar was purchased on the 7th of November and it just arrived to me the 23rd of December because it was shipped by mistake to the USA. Why? I don't know, but it has seen the world. Certainly it has seen countries that I have not. So it's special. As you can expect, my Christmas is all but ruined now because the whole joy of an advent calendar is to open each present one day at a time, right? Or at least for me it is, but nope, I have been deprived of this joy. <laughs> oh, somebody's having fun. Just close the window so we don't care how much fun people are having. How about that? All jokes aside, this is the advent calendar from the Nerle and I am truly excited to see what's inside. I had a plan to unbox each day in a short something from this calendar. Uh, that's not gonna happen, we're just gonna unbox everything today. And maybe this will give us an idea about what the brand will have for us next year. Because as it just so happens, Denerle is one of the brands that I personally prefer and I have quite a few products from them that I truly enjoy. So I'm really curious to see what little treats they prepared for us this Christmas. How many? First and foremost, oh my goodness, I think we have 24 or 20? 20, 24, no, we have 24 little gifts. Oh my goodness, I really, really hoped I would have gotten this on the 1st of December, but I didn't. So we're just gonna start with each one. If any of you have this calendar, I'm not gonna spoil anything at this point, I think. And the 1st of December holds, ah! Snow Pops! I actually do enjoy these for my shrimps and I have a lot of shrimps. There we have them, Snow Pops for our little shrimps. I think we're a little low on brightness, aren't we? All right, I think we're better now. So yeah, 1st of December, shrimp food. This is already a win because honestly, it doesn't really cost that much, especially if you compare it to other advent calendars. On the sad side, I'm pretty sure we will not have as many stickers. Not from experience, just what I hear. I haven't the finance to buy a Dior calendar. <laughs> the second day of December holds two little gifts. We have chocolate. Oh, this makes my day. I am a chocolate fiend. Wanna hear something very sad? I still don't have my taste back fully so i'm going to postpone eating this chocolate but i really appreciated some reader sport chocolate nougat my favorite oh my goodness i'm so excited and of course the gift is a measuring cup a dosing cup you know and this is really cute next up on the third oh i love these little pipettes on the third we have vital elixir vitamin or vitamins and vital substances. I actually wanted to buy these and it kind of goes together with these me this measuring cup. I wanted to buy this at some point again for my shrimp tanks. I don't know if I posted that video already. I made a new tank for my shrimps because I experienced some issues with my shrimps and I think it's vitamin related. So I was considering something like this anyway. This is for fish as well. Alrighty, 4th of December. Oh, we have another little substance. This is Plant Elixir Basic. This is not something that I necessarily want to go for because I have my own fertilizer regime and this is fertilizer, but I do have a few nano tanks, shrimp tanks that you know what, I'm gonna be testing this on because they're not so heavily planted as my heavily planted tanks. So this is great to have as well. Let's go to the 5th of December, another elixir. This is aqua elixir conditioner for water dechlorinator, probably eliminates heavy metals as well. You can never have enough of these. I usually use Prime, but I'm pretty sure the one from the Nerla is very good. This is welcomed. Okay, let me search for the 6th of December now. Where's the 6th? Are we missing the 6th? No, we're not. It's this big boy, this big compartment here. Oh, either we have two gifts, either something fell off of something else. 
Let's see. It's a little matte. I'm thinking I want to use this when I do my water testing. Or maybe this gives me an idea of what this will be used with. I don't know. But I have a measuring spoon. Can never have enough measuring spoons. And this little matte with the betta is so cute. I love bettas. You guys know. Who doesn't love bettas? But I especially love bettas. I think this is really cute, this little mat. And definitely when you're doing tests and other stuff, you need a little mat. This is really cute. I really, really like it so far. So the sixth has been quite a treat. Let's see the 7th of December, what it holds. Oh, I wish I would have gotten this earlier. Oh, look at that, a CO2 test. This is something I don't usually use because I use those permanent CO2 tests, which I will tell you secret they're not very accurate you might be pumping co2 in your tank mercilessly and kill your fish and that thing will not turn lime green so as far as i'm concerned co2 tests not the most accurate things but you know what it's really great to have a separate co2 test just to check out if my permanent ones work correctly right where were we the 8th of december i feel my voice just being very strained at the moment sorry i might have to take a break for a good cough oh man i hate covid okay carbo care bio i will take a wild guess and say that this is glutaraldehyde what easy carbo and ccam excel are as well I would open it and smell it and confirm, but I have no smell and no taste. We'll not do that right now. I'm gonna keep it because I do actually have some Seekum Excel. I usually don't use these products in my tanks, but what I use them for, when I have a very, very heavily affected plant, I put it in a bucket and I double the dose of this just to get rid of the algae on that particular plant and it works like a charm. So I typically do separate treatments of that or in the early stages of an aquarium if I'm using like ADA soil or something very, very potent and it's inevitable that I'm gonna have a lot of algae, I can use this and minimize the algae and also minimize plant melt because of the algae. So it's really useful. Not something I usually use all the time, but it is useful in certain situations. Alrighty, 9th of December. Let's see. Oh, catapa leaves. Okay, again, these are really good either for betta fish, either for shrimp like caridinas. Actually, I shouldn't say caridina because Sulawesi shrimps are caridinas too. So the crystal reds, the bees, Taiwan bees, things of the sorts, because they do lower the pH a little bit. And I like to use these leaves as well when I'm quarantining betta fish. It just conditions the water a little bit and yeah, I think they're great. Where were we? I think the 10th of December. Oh no! Which one is it? This one or this one? I'll go for this one. Let's see. Alrighty, more shrimp food. Can I get enough of those because I have a lot of shrimps plus a crayfish. I do have all their line, but you know, can never have enough of these. And complete is actually a very good food. Next up, the 11th of December. I'm sorry if you hear music in the background, as I was saying, somebody's already celebrating Christmas early, or they're celebrating the fact that they don't have to go to work tomorrow, which sounds great. Oh, okay, what are these? Basic root, nutrient ball. Okay, definitely I will be using these and it's a really great treat. I wanted to try something. <laughs> you forgot the lyrics, huh? My bird forgot how to laugh. So I'm typically using the Tropica ones, the Nutri capsules, whatever, and I wanted to use something else just to see if I can boost a little bit the growth in my Dutch tank, which is a sponge for nutrients. So definitely I will be putting these to very, very good use. I never tried this one from the Nerle, but I will now. What day are we on? 13, I think. Okay, I think we have another jar of food. Oh no, iron fertilizer, iron capsules. You know, these are great for cryptocorins and I do have a setup heavy on cryptocorins. I will use this there. And then, no, 14th of December, we have another little jar. 
color booster. I'm not sure what it is. Very interesting. I'm not acquainted with this product. Color booster for ornamental fish. Oh, it's food. Danny, just read. There is English on this as well. Color enhancing complete food for ornamental fish. And it's very fine, which is fantastic because I have micro fish. I have very tiny fish. Nothing is big in my fish, quote unquote, collection, micro room. And I do believe this is oriented towards nano tanks. We have a picture of a nano tank here. This is great. I love this. I love all the foods that are very, very, very tiny because I don't have to crush them. So I don't have to wash my hands like 50 times a day. Not that I'm feeding my fish 50 times a day, but you know what I'm saying. With my skin condition, I shouldn't be washing my hands so often, but I have the type of job that requires me to wash my hands all the time. <laughs> Alrighty, on the 15th of December, we get Bacto Elixir filter bacteria. Nice, can never have enough filter bacteria as well. I always have somewhere around a Seachem product that does just that. I always like to boost my setups with bacteria whenever I do a very big water change or some changes in the tank and things of the sorts, just to be sure. Maybe it's not all that needed as I <laughs> dose it, but it's not harming anything and I just sleep better at night, so. This is really great for that. We need 16th. It's another big compartment. Oh, Cleanator. Yes, I actually wanted to purchase this. This is a sponge from Denerle, which is supposed to really, really help you with those waterline deposits. If you have fairly hard water, which I do, and I think I put it in my cart on Amazon at some point and I wanted to buy it and the transport was just not worth it. So like, meh, okay, I'm gonna wait for a, a different order to purchase it because I actually don't have this available around me locally right now. It might come, but until then, I wanted to order it from Amazon and the transport was just not worth it. So I'm so, so happy to have this. I really, really am. You know what? <laughs> there you go, you remembered. This is a very good advent calendar so far. Right, 17 of December. We're getting close. What do we have here? Yeah. I hope it's food again. Cookies special menu. Complete food for bottom dwelling fish. This is great as well. I do have some bottom dwellers. Um, I don't know if this is heavy on the algae or not. I have a carnivorous uh, bottom dweller. He's very special, he or she, I'm not sure. And if it is rich in protein, that would be great for him. If not, I'm just gonna feed my autos some extras because at some point I do run out of algae, so that's cool. I'm always up for fish food. I do have a lot of fish food. <laughs> I'm looking at it more than I need, but I always try out stuff. The 18 brings us shrimp food. Again, collar. This is something my shrimps really, really like. I think it's very high in protein. So I really do like this, but I do believe I have two other bottles of this, but it's okay. I have many shrimps. They will eat it. Oh no, oh no, I missed the 12th of December. Oh no, let's uh, open it now. I know how to count. It's just that I'm sick, okay? It's COVID's fault. Complete menu gourmet, complete food for all ornamental fish. This is again very welcome and very, very fine. This is a very, very small food. I love it. I love the fact that they included so much food and there's a heck of a lot in here. Where did I leave off? 19th of December. Plant Care Pro Root. Okay, so again, we have some fertilizer tabs. I will need to check to see what is the difference between this and the other product. This looks heavy duty. This looks like it has a lot of stuff. So definitely I'm gonna be using these as well for my Dutch, which as I was saying is like a sponge. You throw fertilizer at it, it's just gonna be like, mm, thanks, more please. I cannot get algae in that tank because the plants are eating the fertilizer like that. I can dose. The Tropica nitrogen fertilizer, five pumps, test the nitrate and it will still be zero. The ammonia as well. That's how fast they eat. 20th of December. Oh, we have, tell me it's gummies. Yeah, they feel like gummies. Really, really happy about any sweets anybody wants to give me. Um, but I'm not gonna be eating it today because I don't have a taste. 
just it's so bad this whole situation was very mild for me i was lucky enough to only have one day of fever and then just you know the very annoying symptoms of congestion and coughing and stuff but the whole loss of smell and taste it made me cry because my only joy while i was coughing my lungs out was to get a little candy, a little treat at the end of the day. That little lollipop that I deserve at the end of the day. And I could not enjoy that even. That was bad. And it still is bad. I'll give it my taste is back 50%, but it's just the watered down feeling. It's horrifying. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just making light of the situation. I got off real easy, I'm so lucky, I'm so happy. But I'm hoping my taste returns soon because my mother-in-law really knows how to cook and I wanna enjoy her Christmas dishes and I feel like I'm not going to this year. Next up, this is the 21st, I think. Leco herbivore, okay. This is great because I have a few herbivores. Oh. Oh, hold on. Oh, look at that. I think this traveled from a different day. I think we have two CO2 tests. There we go. But one just traveled. If you notice, this box was a little, yeah, doesn't look brand new. So who knows what it has seen during its travels. But this is Pleco food, which is great. I can feed my um, Otocinclus, which are very well acquainted with eating pellets at this point because some of my tanks have zero algae for them. So they learned, thankfully. 22nd of December brings us, I hope it's not plant fertilizer, human elixir. I love this thing again for shrimps, but you can use it for betta fish as well. They like that black water extract. This is how it was called back in the day. So tropical humic substances. This reduces pH a little bit, makes the water a little bit brown, but it does introduce quite a lot of um, vitamins and not only, I think some enzymes that are really beneficial for some fish and shrimps, especially the caridina type shrimps. 23, it is today. So here we are. If I had this earlier, this is what I would open today. Oh, this is where this is coming from, most probably. Plant enzymes, growth enhancer. All right, so this probably has some hormones that boost a little bit growth. I used to have some plant hormones at some point and I used to use them in a brand new setup and I do believe the plants were taking off a little faster. So this is very welcomed, especially because I will be having a new setup very soon. I always have new setups, um, just spoilers. So I'm gonna focus on setting up some new tanks. So very, very happy with what I got so far, but we reached the end. I'm gonna look inside at some point and see if I missed anything, but the last little gift is on the 24th. It's a big compartment. Let's see what we have here. Oh, you guys, I love this. Ta-da, look at this. So what we have here is a pruning scissors, the one that you hold like this, and it has this wonderful coloration on it. A little bit hollow, right? Looks very neat. I really like these things. They're much easier to handle and maneuver in nano tanks. So I was right. All of this advent calendar was focused on nano tanks and just nano fish keeping in general, which is great because that's my specialty. My biggest tanks are the 80 liters slash 20 gallons. So yeah, I'm just looking a little bit, but I think this is about it. And you know what? I think it's worth it. Definitely all of these things for 40 euros, I think they are worth it. And plus, I always put in the actual feeling of it and how happy it actually makes me to open these presents every day. And you know, yeah, I would pay 40 euros or 42 or 46, I don't remember. Um, I would pay that much for this advent calendar. In my opinion, it was well worth it. And I do have a few things that will not run out, such as this little pad with the beta. He's so pretty. He looks a little like a mustard gas. I used to have a mustard gas. Looking at this, I miss my <laughs> little long thin beras, but I took a vow that 
I'm gonna try to stay away from long fin bettas and only have short fins and I love them. I love my two bettas to death. I really like them. So there we have it. This has been the advent calendar from the Nerle. I really appreciate the sweets as well, but I do appreciate the little sample because this is a bit of a sample size assortment of things. And ooh, some of them have really long expiration terms, 2027. Look at that, I'm gonna probably finish this. So yeah, I really appreciate all of the gifts. I think it's absolutely worth it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And definitely I will be buying next year's advent calendar as well. And hopefully next year my present will be delivered to my address rather than somewhere in the US <laughs> for whatever reason. So with this said, I wish you all happy holidays if you're celebrating. Not sure when I'm going to upload this, but definitely before the New Year's. So that's a holiday, right? Hope you have a great time around the holidays and stay tuned for more aquarium videos on my channel. Make sure you're subscribed, leave a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Well, that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye.